welcome back. We're going to take you to a very short walk to Findlater Castle. <laughs> to get to Findlater Castle, you have to go down there through a farmyard. Um, it's best viewed from the viewpoint at the top. Um, it's not recommended that you go down to the castle itself because the cl cliffs have completely eroded away. You can go down there if you're very careful, but it's not recommended. We won't be going down there, we'll just be looking at it from the top. Some beautiful views from the coastline here. We're almost at the end of the path. is right there. The ruins of Findlata Castle stand on a rocky outcrop between Cullen and Sandend on the northeast Scottish coast. The name Findlata may be derived from the Scots Gaelic word Fion meaning white and Lita meaning cliff or steep slope. There has been a fortification on this site since as early as the 13th century. The first historical reference to the castle is from 1246. King Alexander III of Scotland is known to have made repairs to the castle in the 1260s in preparation for an invasion by King Hakon IV of Norway. In the 14th century, the castle was owned by the Sinclairs and was passed to the Ogilvies in the 15th century. In 1546, Sir Alexander Ogilvy disinherited his son, James, and signed the castle over to Sir John Gordon, son of the Earl of Huntley. James was a steward in Queen Mary's household and used his influential position to regain his inheritance. However, in the autumn of 1562, Sir John refused to surrender the castle. He also refused to grant entry to Mary, the Queen of Scots. She retaliated by sending her troops to seize it in what is now known as the Battle of Findlata, but Sir John defeated them. On the 28th of October 1562, in a reversal of fortune, Mary's forces defeated Sir John at the Battle of Corrigan, after which he was taken to Aberdeen and beheaded. The castle was then returned to the Ogilvy. James Ogilvy was created Earl of Findlata. This rise in status prompted him to abandon the old medieval castle for the more luxurious Cullen House in about 1600. Findlata was left to fall into ruin. We're just gonna have a little walk around the top here and see if we can see it from another angle. Oh my word, look at that down there. This is called Sunnyside Beach. You 
it's just the other side of Findlater Castle. And there's another one of the northeast of Scotland's beautiful sandy beaches. I wish I could describe to you what this gorse smells like. It's so sweet. It's, it's kind of vanilla, isn't it? It's weird. It's beautiful. It's a pity we don't have smelly vision. No. <laughs> Somebody needs to invent smelly vision very quickly. Hmm. Here we are, back at Findlater Castle. We're going to sit on this bench for a while. And then there's one more thing that I'd like to go and investigate before we go back. I'll do that in a few minutes. After we've had a rest. Right. I said there was one more thing I wanted to investigate. That's that curious building in the field behind me. There is a path. It doesn't say I can't go. It doesn't say I can. But I am quite nervous. I'm going. Well, it's definitely a path, so let's go and investigate. Quite big. Martin says it's just a lump of cement. <laughs> right, we'll see what we can find out. There seems to be a doorway. Oh, it's open. Oh, oh what's in there? Looks oh, old, whatever it is. Oh, I'm gonna... It's a bit. Findlass, a ducat. Ah, it's a ducat. This is a ducat for those that don't know what a ducat is. For the housing doves. Oh, look at that, and they're fabulous. I'm not going to go too high up because I'm going to bump my head. Ha! Huh. That's wonderful. Findlass, a ducat is a 16th century beehive ducat containing 700 nesting boxes. It was restored by Banff and Buchan District Council with assistance from Historic Scotland in 1992. Right, so there you are. Hope you've enjoyed our little wander to Findlater Castle, um, Sunnyside Beach and a mystery building which is a death cut. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, see you next time. Bye. Bye.